St. Paul Island, the Bering Sea, and the King Eider. It's the hunt of a lifetime, the pinnacle of waterfall hunting, at a place like nowhere else on earth. When dreams become reality, perfect day out there, a lot of fun. These are the kings of St. Paul. weather's even better, we'll hope we'll get a few more. This guy's first day out in the boat. Copy. Third, fourth, and fifth are all great. Get ready, get ready. Shoot him, shoot him! Welcome to the infamous St. Paul Island, Alaska. A small windswept rock in the middle of the Bering Sea. This is one of the world's last wild places.
unbelievable spectacles of nature surround a community steeped in culture. St. Paul Island became famous for its deadly storms and crab fishermen. But amongst our community, it's known as the best place in the world to have a chance to harvest the pinnacle of waterfall, the King Eider. Hunting in such an unpredictable environment is not for the faint of heart. If you're committed enough to make this journey with the goal of harvesting a single bird, when the Bering Sea shows her teeth, you take it in stride and hope for the best. Inside, warm, fuzzy feeling. We're gonna get them. Good bird. <laughs> That's a good bird. Man, she's red as a cinnamon teal. It's in the back. Right here on the left, on the left, by the island. I don't know if there's any drinks. We're ready. Nice trick on the right. Get him, Troy, get him. Get that one. Get him. Get him. Nice. Yes. Get ready, watch him. He's dead, dead. dead. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, buddy. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Dude! There we 
go. Another nice king. Outer slam, baby. We got into them, and uh, you know they were decoying pretty good. Some of them. Other times, there were just waves of them coming. It's kind of a spectacle. It was, it was a lot of fun. You guys, you know, maybe should think about getting a hen too, along with their drakes. You just see the cinnamon color and that beautiful head. They really, really go well in a group mount with some drakes. But that one's a real red one. And this gal here, more tawny. You know, and got the nice, the nice wing bars and whatnot. But that one's a little more blonde, and that one's a little more red. Go through a lot of trials and tribulations of travel, and you get out here and you get that one morning, and you've been sitting in camp for three days, kind of fighting the weather, and you get that break. You got to make the most of it, and uh, that's sure is rewarding when it works out. So, good job, guys. Congrats, Owen, on your first eiders. Yeah, came right here, flying in. I got a hen decoying right in. Yeah, I'm gonna swing right in. So it's real, folks. <laughs> what a great day. Yeah, buddy. Well, we do it at four flyways, ladies and gentlemen. That is how we do it. Incredible journey to an epic place for a once in a lifetime bird. These are the kings of St. Paul. For more information, visit fourflywaysoutfitters.com.